is Firefly Sims here and I am doing an, an unboxing today which is a little different from what I normally do on this channel obviously but I thought I would put this out here um so <laughs> before I go ahead and unbox it I just want to say that I did purchase this with my own money so I'm not bragging or anything like that um I have a MacBook, which is fine and all, but I was, look, it's starting to get really slow. It's really old. Um, and by really old, I mean like 2008 was when I got it, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, and as much as I love it, it is a great laptop still. It is still, and I, I need to upgrade the RAM and all that stuff on it because it's starting to get a little slow or memory maybe the memory is dying I don't know it is old I had to replace the battery recently um I wanted to get something that I could take with me when I travel and do like surf the internet you know watch YouTube just basic stuff and I didn't feel like buying a whole new laptop just for that purpose I don't I don't need a brand new laptop right now I mean I could have because I it was the the struggle was real here people like I was sitting in Best Buy standing there looking at all the laptops like what should I what should I get and I, after looking at all their laptops and the Macs, like, oh, I wish I, like, I was looking at the new MacBook. It's so small, but it's so pretty. But no, I didn't, um, obviously. I didn't, I don't feel like shelling out $1,300 for a computer right now, nor do I have $1,300 to shell out. For a computer right now anyway so I was looking at the Chromebooks and I did extensive research on this beforehand like I looked up reviews I looked up YouTube videos unboxings reviews all this stuff so I knew I know what this what this is capable of which isn't much which you know that's fine I'm not looking for anything super exciting so um the I was actually hoping the Acer Acer one was out, the Chromebook 15, which is a 15 inch one, but it wasn't. They only had the 11 inch there. And honestly, I had also went to Walmart and they had a Chromebook, which was the HP Chromebook 14, I believe. I believe so. Um, and I almost got that one because it comes in teal, like an aqua color or lime green, and it was so pretty. But alas, I did not. Um, and then I went to I went to Walmart first, saw them, and I was like, oh, because they were only three, they were only two ninety nine, and I almost was was like that close, that close to getting it. And then I was like, you know what? I need to go to Best Buy. I need to check out the Chromebooks there, because I had at this point I'd been almost one hundred percent sure I was getting a Chromebook, and. Um, I couldn't find them at first. I was like, all I saw was all the shiny, pretty laptops. And I was like, oh, these are so nice. Like, there was an HP one there that I was really close to getting. It was it was $500, but it was it was like 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 750 gigabytes of storage, and but it had Windows 8 on it. I'm not a fan of Windows 8, you know, whatever. Um, but I was really close to getting it. And and I'm hoping that I don't like regret myself for not getting it, but whatever. I'm fine. It was huge too. So, um, and retrospec, retrospec, <laughs> retrospec, I could have got it and I would have been fine. But, um, I wanted, I just wanted something really simple. That's it. And the reviews, but anyway. Let's get to the unboxing. Just so you know, this I know what this is. I know people are all like Chromebooks, and I was one of those people, but I think I'll be okay. So anyway, this is the Toshiba one. It is HD. It is beautiful. 
or at least it was in the thing. I haven't opened it yet, obviously. Um, but it has the skull candy stuff, and it's what it looks like on the, this side. Um, and this is the back portion of it. So yeah, and I got it at Best Buy. So I already, I already um, cut the tape. Cut the tape because I'm terrible at it. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna try doing this one-handed. Let's see, this works. I think I cut the tape. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I am struggling. Come on. Open. Hold on. Okay, that was a two handed effort. Alright, let's see what's in here. So this is what it looks like in the inside. Let's focus. I'm using my iPhone to do this. So hopefully it's not terrible. Um, Skull Candy sticker. Cute. I, don't, I never use the stickers that come with these things. I've like, um, what is this? Uh, just warranty, I think, stuff. Regis regulatory, regulatory information for your Toshiba. Um, ooh, I might get one of these. I don't know where you get them, but they're pretty and I can get the teal or the pink. Um, and a quick start guide, which I don't know if there's anything important. Pretty much shows you what a computer looks like and what the buttons do, if you're interested. Okay. And of course, it has a charging cable and a charging brick. And now, this computer is really light, which is that's one of the other things I really like. Now, <laughs> I, I'm hoping if I ever go on vacation, this would be an excellent thing to take with me. So. I also got a one terabyte um, external hard drive, which I don't know if I'll need it. Is this really? Um, can I see? Can I, can I have the specs here? I thought maybe the box would have it, but I don't think it does. But, um, Wise, it's not very big. Like, you can tell me how much it has. If I can tell you guys. If you're wondering, before I pull it out of its little sleeve here, um, the left side has a USB 2.0 port and a memory card reader. So if you want to get a micro SD card, or not a micro SD card, a regular SD card, you can do that. Or, and the right side has an HDMI out port, a security lock slot, and a USB 3.0 port. Yep. Okay. So it's sort of like a cover. And this is the inside. So you can see it actually, and it's so shiny. Look at it, it's so shiny. I know you can't really see. You can sort of see me in the reflection here. But yeah, um, it's Intel. Hopefully this isn't too dark. It is, uh, I get 100 gigabytes of space, and I said Skull Candy. But, it's really pretty, right? Right? I don't think, 
turn on. So I plug it in. I don't think so. It is also HD. That's that was the deciding factor really for of all of them. Because this one is HD. Okay, so I am going to turn this off, plug it in, and we'll see. Okay, I am back. I have it plugged in now. Let's see the little orange charging light. Um there is the H or USB. This one this is blue. I don't think so. Um and the micro now see this is a really light device. And then here is the uh USB 3.0 3.0 and another 2.0 and a lock thing and headphone jack. So let's open it up. This is supposedly has a really, really, really fast um uh, start up time, so we'll see. Boom, there it goes. With the um these devices don't will open up right away. I think it's supposed to have a fast start up time anyway. pretty quick right this is the first time so um I doubt you can see but the screen looks amazing my uh, camera on here doesn't pick it up all that well but it is an HD screen um it does have a battery charge of 54 54% yeah so that is my uh, Toshiba Chromebook 2 unboxing so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um actually can you set this up as I guess I don't think so but anyway it's okay I have to get it all set up and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do a review once I get used to it and so forth. But yeah, if you guys want to see a review on the Chromebook, uh, Toshiba 2.0, uh, yeah, I will just let me know and I'll definitely do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have this amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.